catchy tune, and you might find yourself doing this. It feels almost reflexive, right? Well, turns out it just may be. In perhaps one of the cutest studies ever published in the Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences, Marcel Zentner and his colleague looked at whether babies spontaneously groove when you play the music. And as you can see, the answer is, yes, they do. It was completely unsolicited. It was completely spontaneous. And that suggests... This human ability to uh, match movements with rhythms might be innate. Zentner played 120 babies, a few different types of sounds. We use some classical music, we use a children's song. Even dry beats. What didn't get the babies moving was this. Tout de suite, j'ai pris une auto qui m'a conduite ici. Although Fred Astaire makes it look effortless, syncing with sound isn't trivial. To see if the infants were in tune with the tempo... We had a very sophisticated technological apparatus, which is a three-dimensional motion capture system. Which uses cameras and reflective markers to plot movement with tempo. And Zentner found... It seems like they're moving extremely well to the music, but in fact, if you look at it objectively, they're not so perfectly synchronized. So the faster the music got, the faster they moved, but it was not at exactly the same tempo. In other words, babies are not very good dancers. But cut them some slack. I mean, you have to consider these are babies. They have very little motor control. Go to a disco, you go to a ballet, uh, and you see relatively controlled uh, or sort of learned uh, acquired movements. And to look at these babies, they move in a very spontaneous way. No one has told them how to move. This study suggests that the tendency to move to a beat may have biological roots. And research last year made a similar case, but with a different subject. Meet Snowball. John Everson, an author on the Snowball study, says that the bird was pretty good at moving in sync with the tempo. Yeah, Snowball's more like a, you know, four or five year old. <laughs> the babies had a tougher time hitting the beat, but when they did... We found something rather striking, namely, the better the babies were able to match the musical timing with their body movements, the more fun they seemed to have. Like most adults, they smiled more when they danced better. I think that gets really at the heart of, you know, why do we move? Because it makes us feel good. Which makes you wonder, why does that make us feel good? Yeah, just the deeper question, why, is still quite a mystery. For Science Friday, I'm Flora Lichtman.